The Small Tourism Enterprises Project, STEP, an organization under the umbrella of the Tourism Development Company, TDC, in collaboration with the Ministry of Tourism, held its first People Productivity and Sustainability Symposium. The theme of the day being Tourism is My Business. STEP basically is a project that deals with the competitiveness, um, profitability, sustainability of small tourism operators. We dealt with accommodation owners of 75 rooms or less. But after the relaunch in Trinidad and Tobago, we added our own homegrown ideas and we added tour operators, tour guides, and tourist transport providers. The Caribbean Step, or should I say the Caribbean Small Tourism Enterprise Project, has arranged and developed the content so that small tourism operators can have useful material and tools for continued improvement of their business. This additional retooling would serve to heighten the awareness of the importance of people, productivity, and sustainability in the tourism sector. It must be noted that this program, like all other STEP programs, is crafted in response to the needs and challenges articulated by the small tourism operators themselves. The symposium was open to a number of tourism stakeholders, including tour operators, tour guides, transport providers, accommodation owners, restaurant and hotel staff, and upcoming people hoping to secure a job in the hospitality tourism sector. The symposium was devised by STEP as an initiative to aid in developing the small tourism industry. The day's program included a mixture of lectures and panel discussions by various contributors in the field. Tourism is now being looked at as an alternative to aid in generating income and stabilizing the country's economy, as explained by Minister Kajo. There are some people who are still waiting on the energy sector to bounce back. But if you look at what is taking place in the regional and international economic landscape, um, I think that tourism is more reliable and more promising. So we can guarantee more solid returns on investment in the tourism sector. So I think what is important is for each citizen to position himself or herself to take advantage of these opportunities and really maximize on all that is before us now. A main point that was driven by most of the speakers was tourism isn't just about various businesses, but it is about all of us. We, as a people, have to work together in ensuring that we portray the best of Trinidad and Tobago and all it has to offer. World travelers are not simply going to show up in Trinidad and Tobago without any collective efforts on our part. Tourism is a highly competitive trillion dollar industry and we have to make ourselves stand out and be noticed. Just by your presence here today, your commitment to the industry is evident and I assure you that the Tourism Development Company is also committed to creating an environment in which we can all flourish and do our part to develop Trinidad and Tobago as a world-class tourist destination. From the doubles vendor to the taxi driver, everybody, all the service providers, I expect it to be in place to take advantage of the opportunities because from the large scale to the small scale, tourism is everybody's business. It was also noted that part of the process needs to be powered by passion, as it was established that this business, the tourism business, is about people and productivity. How many of us internalize that? We make it us. Is it a job? Is it a career? Or is it your what? Passion. Because you can have a job and a career, but you have to be passionate about it. And passion makes you do some amazing things, trust me. Networking is very critical. One of the things is that people tend to operate in silos. And <clears throat> the person down the road will have something that I need. And, um, but I'm trying to get it all by myself. So I think that partnerships, collaboration will work. And finally, um, 
mentorship and training I think are very, very important. If every new entrepreneur got mentored by a more seasoned entrepreneur to realize that some of the bumps in the road are not fatal, I think that this would help a lot. At the end of this symposium, participants would have left a bit more knowledgeable on promoting their businesses and made new connections within the industry. I would like to see a continuation of the SEP program, but I think we need to expand to other programs too. We need to embrace Green Globe certification. We need to embrace environmental consciousness. We need to embrace not only the knowledge of the destination, but how do we protect that destination so that we have it moving forward. But I think the most important component, because we have things like tour guide training and so on, but the most important component is that we have to include, we need to include in our training programs a component that deals with people looking into themselves and understanding what makes them tick and why they're in the industry in the first place. You as a tourism operator or you as a stakeholder, you are an entrepreneur and therefore you are responsible for the growth and expansion of your business. STEP is here to support in whatever capacity we can, but at the end of the day, it is your business. To all our stakeholders, I say, we have to advance this sector together. The private sector must do its work, and the government must diligently play its role as a facilitator. The government, stakeholders, and citizens must walk hand in hand. Advancing the tourism agenda is going to take all of us the big operators and the small operators, the big names and the newcomers, and even the underdogs. There is a piece of the pie out there for all of us.